the last day of school, but I have something really important to tell you. I know this is really sudden and <laughs> on, well, I really wanted to do it on a specific day, but you were busy then and I just didn't want to disrupt you. I promise it'll be quick, but after school, can you please meet me at the cherry blossom tree? Thank you so much. I know that you're moving away soon, and I just wanted to tell you before it was too late. <laughs> I'll see you then. <laughs> I hope he's not late. What if he doesn't feel the same way? I mean, why wouldn't he feel the same way? He asked me to the dance. I... I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little too... Uh, Abrasive. Well, he always said he liked that side of me, but I just feel like he's pulling away. Is it something I did? Something others have done? We've known each other since we were kids in diapers. We grew up together, and maybe this moving is just hurting him as much as it's hurting me. Why am I being so... I've had a crush on them for years. It's so annoying to feel this way. I just hope that, that they didn't try to take him away from me. I know she's had her eyes on them for a while, but... Surely, surely... They wouldn't have fallen for tricks. Tricks? <laughs> what am I saying? I'm losing it, that's, that's all. I just need to eat something. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm not thinking straight. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not that monster my mother told me I was. I'm not obsessive or compulsive or anything else. No, no. I'm me. Lovable, adorable, happy me. The only reason I got rid of the others that were trying to take them away was because they were cheating on them anyway. I was doing them a favor. I wasn't hurting them. I wasn't hurting anyone. I was doing them a favor. That's all. Just a little incy binty, teeny little favor out of the kindness and love that I feel for them that I am going to tell them today. Because I... Oh, hey, I, I didn't see you there. I'm sorry I got... Lost in thought. Um, yeah, <laughs> you're here. A little late, like usual, but it's nice to see you. It really is. Especially after this crazy year, right? All those students going missing. It's been awful, hasn't it? I know, I know, I know. But we were here for each other, and that's what really counts, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just the duo sticking together forever. Well, soon it, it won't be just the two of us, I suppose. I'm not too upset that you're moving. You're going to a better school anyway. But I, I am going to miss you. I really don't have many friends except for you. Well, I, I did make a new friend recently. 
Yeah. <laughs> her name is Pluto. He would love her. Well, love is a strong word, but you'd like her. She's no replacement for you, though. <laughs> no one could replace you. You're my everything. Well, I mean... Listen, I... Just read this. I don't want to prolong the inevitable. You probably already know why you're here. Yeah, it's pretty long. I'm sorry about that. So, um... What do you think? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? You're already taken. But... I... No. No, you can't. Not this close to you moving. I... You said we had something. You said that we were going to get married when we got older. How could you... How could you break that kind of promise? Please, I don't want to be that monster that everyone says I am. I don't want to be left alone. I don't... I'm scared of losing you, and if you go with them, you're going to leave me behind. All they do is lie and say that they're helping you, and that I'm crazy or obsessive, but I'm not crazy or obsessive, I just... You're the only one who's never called me crazy or doesn't laugh at me, doesn't bully me, I... I'm scared. And yeah, I do love you. I love you a lot. But if my feelings will get in the way, I, I don't mind shoving them aside. You have to understand that. You understand that, don't you? Why are you backing away? Do you... Do you honestly believe her? I promise I wasn't... I haven't done anything. I've only been helping you this whole time. You know, with like, studying and stuff. I... I wasn't... I'm not gonna get in the middle of anything. I'm not gonna try to sabotage anything. I promise I am just here for you. And if being with others is going to make you happy, I'm fine with that, but I can't lose you. The only line that I draw is losing you. Please don't do this. Please don't leave me. Please, I don't... I don't think my heart or my mind could handle it. Please. No. What do you mean? We can't even be friends. This is all her fault. They've twisted your mind into thinking I'm... I'm the monster. I'm not a monster. I promise I'm not a monster. Please, stop. Stop walking away. I... I can explain everything. Please. Please. Huh? Oh, um... Hey. Yeah, um, Pluto, um, left as soon as she saw you. Well, yeah, that's my friend that I was talking about. You passed out when you got out of the car. I guess all the excitement kind of wore you out. It's no problem. I carried you off to bed. Do you like it? It's soft, isn't it? memory foam. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. I, what was I thinking about? Nothing. It's, it's nothing important. No, really, it's 
just bad memories. I'm sorry I got you into all this mess. I hope you know it's just because I love you. I really do love you. I know that I am um, a little crazy, if you can say it so mildly, but I really care about you and your well-being. I just want us to have the life that we were promised as children. That's all. You understand that, right? I'm glad you do. <laughs> See, I told you taking you away from them is, is going to help. I'm not crying. I'm just working through some stuff right now. You don't understand how scary that was to have someone spying on us, someone so close to taking you away again. You are my only source of happiness. And it is terrifying to think I'm going to lose you for what, the fourth time now in my life? Losing you every single time, even if it was only for a month or a week, the emotions and the scaredness and everything else was unbearable. I don't think I could have lived like that the rest of my life. And I, it didn't, I wish it had never have come to this. That is the problem. I am a horrible person for doing this to you, and I realize that, but I can't stop. Because if I stop, you'll go away, and it's selfish, I know, but without you, I am nothing. Do you understand that? I am nothing, so I can't lose you. That isn't an option on the table, so I will do whatever it takes for us to get our happy ending, for us to get married, and if we want kids to have kids, but we don't need to have kids, we can just live on a hill somewhere and live our happy little lives. I can change my name, my look, it's not like I haven't done that before, I mean, look at me now compared to when we were kids. I can change all of that for you. And I will do it again, and again, and again, and again. Just so we can have the ending we were supposed to have before everything went to shit. And I promise I am working for that future every single day, even though we've hit bumps along the way. I promise I'm going to make this life perfect for you, or at least near perfect for you. Because I know this is not the life that you asked for. But it's the life you needed. That I needed. That we needed. I love you. Please, never forget that. Pluto should be back soon. Hopefully we can give you a proper introduction. If you could just hand me that tissue over there. Oh, if Pluto sees me crying, she's probably not going to be too nice to you. She's, um, very much different than me. <laughs> She doesn't care if she is a bad person. She just kind of does what she wants. <laughs> Thank you. I suppose if you pretend you're asleep, she'll just think I'm lost in my thoughts again. You should probably do that. Just in case, um, he's in a bad mood. <laughs> 
She's always in a bad mood before she's gotten her coffee. And I'll see you soon, my love. Hopefully I'll be in a better mindset. Thank you for sticking with me. I love you.